Hi everyone! In this video, I would like to show you how to customize widgets that come with Adobe Muse. I will be working with this website that I have made in my other video. If you are interested to see how I put it together, you can watch my tutorial on how to create a basic website in Adobe Muse. I already have Muse open. The widget library is located down here. If you can't see this panel, go to Window and make sure Widget Library is selected. One of the widgets that I have already used is the navigation bar. Let's change its look and feel so it matches the rest of our design. Since it lives on the master page, let's go to the master page and select one of the buttons. Note that in the Options menu, I have Edit Together checkbox selected. This way, all of the changes I make to one button will be automatically applied to the rest of them. To change the color of the bar, go to Fill and change the gradient colors. Now let's edit text. We will make the font larger and increase letter spacing. That looks better. But if you hover over the button, it changes the color back to the default gray. To fix that, we have to change the appearance of the button for every state. The states panel is located down here. Normal, which is the default look of the button, looks right. Now let's change the rest of them. Rollover is the state of the button when you hover the mouse over it. Mouse down is what it looks like when you click the button. And active is what the button looks like when it stays down. Let's see what we got. This is default, roll over, mouse down, and active. Now that this is done, let's move on to another widget. I also want to show you how to customize the tooltip widget. This is what it does. You hover the mouse over an item, the description appears in the box. Let's pretty it up. Let's add one more item, resize the boxes and rearrange them, and let's fill them with images. Note that we're using the same fill tool that we used to change the color of the navigation bar. Make sure the fitting is set to Scale to Fit. Now let's resize the tooltip box. Change the color to white. Let's keep it transparent and set opacity to 50. And add text. I will repeat these steps for the rest of them. So this is what the tooltip widget looks like after we made all of our changes. Not bad. Let's do one more widget. We will put it on a new page called Gallery. On this page we want to showcase our pictures. So we will select Slideshow, Lightbox, and drag it onto the page. We want it slightly bigger, like that. Let's reposition the caption, previous and next buttons, change the background color to black, set opacity to 70, and finally let's replace the default pictures with ours. Go to Options, Add Images, and then delete the default ones. So there we have it. We can use previous and next to flip through the pictures and if we wanted to add a description to each of them, we could have put it right here. So that's it for customizing widgets. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching it. Bye!